In this video, we will see how to modify flanges. To start with, uh, let's open SolidWorks. Go to Sheet Metal, Base Flange. Let's draw something of origin. One meter by one meter. Let's say this is just a tray but with a diagonal angle on the on the edges so let's make this sheet metal and 1.2 thick stainless steel okay now let's put edge flange all four sides but for this one we are not going to use all four sides because we are going to make this a diagonal shape. So let's just use two sides. So 100. Uh, 100 seems too small. Let's go 200. So we are going to put 200 on this side and 100 on this side okay so there are two ways to do it either you can add it when you are actually making the flange so you can just go edit flange profile and you can see that we are going to add it this side of the of the base plate so let's just go so this will not be vertical and now all we have to do is give them the dimension so from here to here, it's 200. And from here to here, we are going to make it 100. So you can see how this has been transformed in an inclined plane. Let's go finish. Now you see there is just one flange that has been modified, but on this side we will do it on a different with a different way. So by clicking on this edge, you can see which edge we are going to be editing. So green means selected. Let's go so edit that one. Right click, edit sketch. Now. We can see this side is the 200 one and this side is 100 one. Let's delete this here from the top to end. It's 200. And from top to end. To top yes 100 okay now if we can see that it is symmetrical okay and there you go you have an inclined plane now let's close this and make it a box section so we are going to make an edge flange but Instead of here, let's go and we clear click that it will go automatically go with the same height and go OK. You can see it's the same height. Same with this one, edge flange. Instead of blind to vertex, we will just choose that. And you can see it's a diagonal box. And it's now we can see that this thing here is not looking good. What is the reason for that? It looks like it will clash here so what we are going to do go 
added feature and trim sidebands. Let me go there. Okay. You can see now it's it's good enough here. There's a small gap here. It's been created automatic. Same on this side. Same thing we are going to do. The other flange. Trim side flange. Okay. Now if you are happy with this, uh, we can just save this product to whatever we want to save it as and go follow. One thing you notice is this radius is quite big. Ideally, for 1.2 thick material, normally we can fold it in a very tight radius with just 1.2. Two radius. And now you can see it looks much better and much nicer. Thank you very much for watching. Please watch the next video to see how the mitre flanges work, and we will do some examples on mitre flanges.